Nancy Grace, every night at 8 Eastern. HLN News and Views. Straight out to Michael Bohr, WOAI News Radio. Michael, what happened? I don't understand how you can see the baby in 10 minutes before, and then suddenly the baby's gone. Well, police are saying that it looks like he just was able to wander out of his home. We know that the latch on the door in this home did not work. Some big developments in this case today, Nancy, though. We have to tell you that the radius, the search radius for little Joshua has been expanded now for two miles. Uh, one of the things that they're doing is uh, this is a neighborhood full of prefabricated homes. Uh, some of the officers as well as search dogs are going underneath these homes to see if maybe the baby was able to wiggle its way underneath there. Also, in cases where the, a human or a dog couldn't fit under there, they've got high-tech cameras that are able to go underneath these homes uh, to see if maybe possibly uh, this child was able to make its way under there, underneath here in the freezing weather we've had in, in, in South Texas. Dana, let me see a, a picture of the baby. He looks like a baby doll that you get down off a shelf. Look at him. He absolutely, he looks like the Gerber baby. Joining me right now is the baby's mother, Sabrina Benitez. She's joining us from Texas. Sabrina, thank you for being with us. Hello? I'm here. I hear you. I hear you crying. Tell me what happened when Joshua went missing, Miss Benitez. We were all in the house. There was nine people in the house. I was sitting on the bed watching Toy Story with my baby. He was wandering from our room to the living room where the other family members were. When I realized after about 10 minutes that it was unusual, my baby hadn't been back in the room to come get a toy, come watch the movie, I jumped up and I ran to the grandfather's room where there was another baby that my baby was interested in and asked if he was in there when the grandfather's girlfriend told me he hadn't been in there. So I ran out to the living room and I asked everyone if they seen the baby. We started searching where there was no signs of the baby. So I ran out the house and everyone started looking and we called the police about 10 minutes. We realized we could, had no nowhere where we hadn't found him. What do you think happened, Sabrina? Do you think he got out the door? At first, I kind of, honestly, at first, well, there was a family friend in the house and that was the last time the door had been opened. And... I at first thought, like, maybe the friend had took him, but the police say there's no signs of that. So they said he had been in and out the back door. I thought maybe he could have slipped, like, walked out the back door. But I highly believe that. I believe that wasn't the case either because when I walked out the back porch, there was ice all over the steps. It was too cold, and my baby's real smart. I mean, if it was that cold, he would have found a way to come knock on the door, or he, there would have been signs of him out the back door because it was icy. Now, Sabrina, everyone with me is baby Joshua's mother. Joining us by phone, Sabrina Benitez. I know you guys are doing everything possible to help find him. Tell me, you, did I hear you say there were nine people in the home when he went missing? Yes, ma'am. Who was in the home? It was me, his father, his older brother, his godmother, his two grandparents, his father's friend, and his grand grandpa's girlfriend. And nobody saw him get out the door. But here's the thing. A lot of people don't believe a baby that age could get out the door. They can. They absolutely can. They can switch. I've seen my children do it. They can switch the lock and get right out the door. I had to put in a, a latch high up, like five and a half feet up, so they can't reach it. They, they don't understand what they're doing. They just want to play and switch the lock and get out the door. They do it. Has your son ever done that before? Have you seen him go out? No, ma'am. He can't even, he can't reach the doorknob. Like, he reaches maybe to the bottom of it, but he can't reach tall enough to where he could turn the doorknob. Well, if he can't reach the doorknob, then how did he get out? That's what I want to know.